Hi, my name is Quinn Purcell. I am a theater artist with the company Rising Youth Theater. Um, in this video, I am going to take you through writing what is called a one minute story. And then after we've written our stories, we are going to make puppets for our stories um, and create a one minute puppet show. This activity can be done by all ages for kids six and under. Uh, it's a really good family activity. Uh, and for kids seven or older, it can be done solo or it's even more fun in groups. For this activity, you will need something to write with and something to write on. Um, if you would like to print out the story template, it will be linked in the description, but I will also be guiding you through it and showing it on the screen, so it's not absolutely necessary that you print it out. Um, you will also need supplies to make the puppets with, but it's really up to you what kind of supplies you want to work with. I'll give you a moment later in the video to pause and go find supplies, but some examples are paper plates, popsicle sticks, colored pencils, glue, old magazines, construction paper, markers, really anything that you can think of. So now we are going to get started writing our story. Um, if you haven't already and you would like to, you can go ahead and print out the one minute story template now, but again, it is not required. This works a lot like Mad Libs, so I'm going to read you a prompt and then you will fill in how you want to tell the story. First, we are going to write our main character. Once upon a time, there was a blank named blank. Now you fill in what you want your character to be. Now we are going to say what our character likes to do. So the prompt for this part is every day blank. Now we are going to write a change or a conflict in the story. So the next prompt is until one day blank. Because of that blank. So what happened as a result of the change in the story? And because of that blank. Again, what happened as a result of the last part of the story? So now it's time to end the story. The final prompt is until finally blank. I'm going to read the story that I came up with and then I'll put the prompts on the screen and give you a moment to read yours with your partner. Once upon a time, there was a worm named Buddy. Every day, Buddy said hello to all of his worm friends, until one day, Buddy could not find his friends anymore. And because of that, Buddy did not have anyone to say hello to. And because of that, Buddy became very sad. Until finally, Buddy's friends came back and they said, surprise, Buddy, happy birthday. And Buddy did have a very happy birthday. The end. Now that I've read my story, I am going to put the prompts on the screen so you can pause the video here to read out your story. Now we are going to move on to the puppets. Let's think about the main characters in our stories. In my story, the main character was Buddy the Worm, so I should make a puppet for him. I think I should also make a puppet for Buddy's friends, but maybe there's a way that I can have them all on one puppet. Who are the main characters in your story? What puppets do you need to make for your puppet show? If you'd like, you can also think about any set pieces you would like to include. A set piece is something in the background of your puppet show that shows where the characters are. Now that we know what puppets we need to make, let's go grab our materials. Pause the video here and go grab the materials you need. Okay, so now that we have all of our materials, it's time to make our puppets. I wanted something a little like sturdier to cut Buddy out on, so I have, this is like a t-shirt tag, um, so it is paper, but it's like a little sturdier and thicker, so I'm gonna use that. Um, and then I also, I found this in my closet, I think it's part of a coat hanger or something like that, but it's got this little like uh, part here that I was gonna like stick Buddy in and then like use this as like a, a stick to um, move Buddy around on. So yeah, let's get started. I think I'm gonna start by drawing Buddy on this piece of paper. Um, and you can be making your puppets along with me while I'm making mine. I don't know if you can see him. There we go. I am going to cut him out. So now I'm gonna 
Let's see if this will work. I'm gonna stick Buddy in this little thing here. So now <laughs> I have Buddy in this little stick thing here. Let's see, I wonder if I can, there, that might be a little better. So now I can move Buddy around in my puppet show. Okay, so Buddy is done. So now I'm going to make Buddy's friends. And I think, I think I'm gonna make two versions of his friends. One um, for the beginning of the story when he says hello to them. And then one for when they come back at the end of the story and they throw him a party. So I think I'm gonna add like some birthday presents and some party hats to the to the second version of his friends. So I'm stealing, uh, it's actually graph paper from this notebook. So I'm gonna tear that out. And then I'm just gonna draw his friends. So I think I'm just gonna draw like friend, 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 friend. Like I'll draw four. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna draw them right now. Some of them look a little wonky, but I think that they look very friendly and I think that Buddy would be friends with them. So this is the version for the first part of the story, but now I'm going to make another version. How I'm gonna do that is I'm going to draw the worms again. So as you can see, I drew them the same way that I drew them last time, except now I'm going to use this red pen um, and I'm going to draw little um, party hats on them. I drew a party hat on this on this one. I think I'm gonna add some stripes to it maybe, or maybe not, can't decide. Um, so I'm gonna add party hats to all of them. Cool, so I have party hats on all of them, um, but I'm also willing to add birthday presents. There is my box with a bow on it. I might color it in and I might, I might add a few more later. If you need a little more time to finish up your puppets, you can go ahead and pause the video here. But if you are done with your puppets, now is the time to put on your puppet show. Thank you to Benedictine University and to the Idea Museum for your collaboration on this project. Uh, and thank you to you all for participating in the one minute story. So now I am going to show you my finished one minute story puppet show. Um, and I will also show you uh, the one minute puppet show of my friend and co-worker Sarah who did this project with her daughter Josie. Once upon a time there was a worm named Buddy. Every day Buddy said hello to all his worm friends. Hello! Until one day Buddy could not find his friends anymore. Because of that Buddy did not have anyone to say hello to. Hello? And because of that, Buddy became very sad. Hmm. Until finally, Buddy's friends came back and they said, Surprise, Buddy! Happy birthday! Woo! And Buddy did have a very happy birthday. The end. Until one day, she couldn't find them anywhere. Where were they? She didn't know, and because of that, she felt felt so sad and lonely until finally